order, uh, where again they're using the same watered down language. The defendants, the defendant admits that certain text messages were exchanged between members of the board on the topic of in response to the COVID crisis. While the parties disagree whether the exchange was an improper meeting under FOIA, the defendants are willing to agree that such message exchanges should not happen in the future. Well, if it's not a violation of our open meetings, why are they agreeing that, that text message exchanges should not happen in the future? Because they know that, but the Supreme Court in the Wade decision has confused the issue so much. But it's just like we heard the experts talking this morning at the Attorney General's office. They say if there's two people present, that's a meeting, and you better watch what you're doing when you're discussing business, as the Elder Ada case said, it's reasonably foreseeable to come before the body. So this is why we have to get involved and, and we have to push legislators and show them uh, why uh, you know this is this does not meet the intent of FOIA that we've had up on the screen uh, all morning. I mean sunshine has to be shown on on these things. It's the best disinfectant. Okay, so this is proposed legislation uh, that, uh, that we're hoping will get, get out of committee and voted on uh, and passed in uh, uh, the next legislative uh, session. Then a meeting means a discussion among three or more members of the governing body about a matter relating to public business on which it is reasonably foreseeable that the governing body could take action. So if they're having these discussions, then they have to give notice to the media, right? Um, one of the things that probably hurt us in our, our attempt to get this legislation through last time was we had the number two right there. And because personally, we felt like that if two of them are back, two of them are discussing our public business, that's a meeting. But, you know, three clarifies the law because the law is confusing right now and I don't think any governing body wants to take that chance uh, because I'm going to sue them if I find out they're doing this uh, because I think the law is so confused that nobody knows what the law is. Like Justice Hart said, it's going to take a lawsuit to clarify this unless the legislature does. Meeting includes... Discussion in person, by telephone, electronically, or by other means. So we clarify that issue. The Supreme Court's clarified the issue in, in uh, the Wade case because the city of Fort Smith argued, as I said before, that emails could not be a meeting. Uh, serial one-on-one -on -one conversations, informal or formal, with members of the governing body by one or more members, employees of the governing body to discuss the, bo the body business. So if they go, if they have the discussion here, then I go to here, then I go to here, serial discussion. Uh, and then it defines what the governing body is. So uh, in, in conclusion, and I'm, I'm going to probably cut it off there, these are some other, some, some other uh, issues in my opinion that, that we could make ground on. And I can't think of any more important legislation than clarifying what a, meet, a, a meeting is for the legislature to say, this is a meeting. Because it, it, it obviously prevents secret meetings. They can't make that argument. But it also protects the governing uh, body. They, you know, their lawyers, their smart lawyers can't say, well, you, know, you can do this or you can do that. Did you have a question, sir? I don't know. 